September 21st, 1958, at Fenway Park, the Red Sox complete a three-game sweep of the Senators, all by two-nothing shutouts. Today's win, however, is marred when Ted Williams, after striking out looking with two aboard to end the third inning, flings his bat aside in a fit of anger. Unfortunately, the unintended flip along the ground sails into the stands and striking of all people, Boston GM Joe Cronin's 69-year-old housekeeper Gladys Heffernan in the head. I didn't mean to throw the bat that way, explains the distraught Williams. I started to flip it along the ground, but the sticky stuff on my hand stuck to it, and it left my hands on the fly instead. I was sick. Thankfully, Hefferton was not badly hurt. September 21st, 2001. A crowd of 41,235 at Shea Stadium witnessed the return of baseball to New York City for the first time since the terrorist attack of September 11th. Uplifting ceremonies before and during the game, which includes singers Diana Ross, Mark Anthony, and Liza Minnelli, as well as bagpipers, pay tribute to victims of the tragedy. September 21st, 1934, the Dean brothers shut out the Dodgers. After Dizzy gives up just three hits in a 13-0 victory, allowing no hits until the eighth, Paul wins a no-hitter 3-0. Diz says, if and Paul had told me he was going to pitch a no-hitter, I'd have thrown one too. September 21st, 1970, the A's fight a blue, no hits the Twins, 6 nothing, becoming the youngest pitcher to perform the feat since Paul Dean, 36 years ago to the day. An Oakland crowd of only 4,284 watches Blue's second major league start. That was September 21st, this day in baseball.